Hello, this tutorial is to teach you how to use applications from iWorks such as Keynote to enhance graphics inside of iWeb. iWeb has uh, many different shapes inside of it, squares, rounded corners, squares, circles, all the way down. And uh, we do have some capabilities to be able to make some uh, good looking shapes. You know, we can resize them very easily. We can add shadows to them. We can color them, gradient fill them. We can do a number of different types of um, graphic styles within iWeb. But using Kino, we can push some of these things to the next level. And let me show you how. <clears throat> Let's choose just one of the uh, white backgrounds here for our demonstration. We can delete. I need the text boxes so we have a white one. And the reason why I'm choosing Keynote over Pages is because Keynote is going to be dealing in pixels similar to how iWeb does where Pages uh, more deals with inches. So I'm going to take the shape that I have drawn inside of iWeb, copy it, then come over to Keynote and paste. Now I've got the shape inside of here and we can do a number of different things inside here. One of the things I'm going to do is we're going to add a nice little reflection to this shape here. So I'm going to hold down the Option key and drag, which will duplicate it. Then I'm going to use those guides to make sure that's right on top of it. We're going to go ahead and open up the inspector. And I'm going to get rid of the line that's on it. And up on the format bar, there's an option here that iWeb doesn't have that says Make Editable. Um, if we choose that, then it opens up our shape for editing to where we can manipulate this slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete a few points here. I'm just going to select and hit the delete key. And I think I'll do this one too and this one up top here as well. All right, now I can select on this shape here and I'm going to click and drag this kind of more so it kind of fades up there. I'm going to hold the shift key down so it goes straight up. And we're going to shade this a little bit differently. I'm going to choose um, a white color. And uh, that's looking pretty good there. So we got white on both sides of the gradient, but what we're going to do is on this white, I'm going to bring the opacity down to somewhere around 30% and do my top one so it's very similar, but a little bit higher than 30%. You kind of see the nice little reflection that we've kind of created up top there. So that's one thing that we can do on top of it. Another thing that kind of looks nice as well is I'm just going to grab a uh, circle here, and this we can kind of do an iWeb as well, but I'll show you in a minute one reason why we're going to be doing it here. So I'm just going to do a color fill. I'm just going to make it black. It doesn't really matter exactly what color, but let's just make it black here. And then I'm going to add a shadow to it. Okay, and I'm going to kind of size this thing down to about the size of our shape here. So I'm going to size it about there. Then with the shadow, I'm going to have it point straight down and we're going to offset this quite a bit to about right about there. Now what happens is if I select this shape I can then send this to the back under the arrange window saying send to back and then it kinda looks like I've got this almost like this shape is hovering over some sort of surface and of course we've got more control to add more blur to it if we wanted to or bring our opacity up or down and it just kinda has a nice look to it Another nice option as far as graphics that I think looks very nice is I'm going to do another option drag on this shape and use those guides as well to put it on top. And what I'm going to do is uh, come up again to that format, shape, make editable. And on this one though, I'm going to delete this point and this point. And I'm going to select on these two here, select and select. And I'm going to hold the shift key down and drag these up to right about here per se. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we can kind of drag these items up here. So they're straight and I'm going to use the shift key as well so it kind of remains going straight and grabbing the second one here as well. And you kind of see what we've done here. We've kind of made a, a top kind of bar per se. So maybe we select this and we kind of make it more maybe of a dark kind of a color. So select one and I'm going to make this kind of more of a black fading to gray, maybe that's pretty good. So um, you're kind of seeing some of the options that we're doing here. I'm going to do again another option drag on this shape here, but I'm going to get rid of the line and we're going to size this in just a bit. See, I'm just kind of, kind of sizing this in and then I'm going to grab 
white again and white on both of the gradients, but we're going to do the same thing, but kind of just fade one down so it's almost transparent and grab the other one and fade it down till it's kind of a semi-transparent and then we're going to kind of fade this up a little bit and drag it more towards the top and then we've kind of got ourselves another little kind of gloss up toward the top maybe kind of stretch it out just a bit more on both sides yeah that looks pretty good so you can kind of see the gloss that we have up top now as well so you can see what we've done we've turned this from a plain ordinary shape what it used to be just here in iWeb to some things that we just can't do necessarily inside of iWeb. The nice thing that we can do now is highlight all of these shapes that we've made and group them under the arrange. Grouping is another item that iWeb does not have the ability to do. So if we group these all together, now this becomes one shape that I can now copy and paste here in iWeb. See that? So there's our original shape and there's our new shape. Now we can grab some text boxes and uh, type our title here and maybe we stick that kind of up top there resize our text box so it's appropriately there nudge it just a little bit let's highlight it and change the color of that maybe to be white okay maybe make it bold okay we could center and everything but you kind of see the ideas now and then we could grab our text here and we could do option eight add a little bullet point and say you know um, item 1, item 2, and so forth. And stick that on top of our item there. And now we've got ourselves a nice little, uh, nice little uh, glossy uh, graphic there. So um, definitely uh, I think it's a great tool to use some of those keynote tips uh, to be able to uh, get some nice looking graphics inside of iWeb. So I hope that was helpful to you and have fun kind of going back and forth using those two graphics and uh, you can really do some amazing things. So thanks for watching.